Look, I have two problems, one and two. عايزاكم تفكروا دلوقتي what operation you need to use to solve these problems. هنستخدم ايه عشان نحل المسألتين دول. I'll give you a minute to think about the answer. And when we are back, I'll show you what students have done. I asked my students, I asked the students to solve the class to solve these two problems. They solve the two problems. Dol. Hazim Ali, he said that in the last lesson we read the problem, extracted the information, we get the information and the question, we organize the information in a bar model. We put the information we have in a bar model. Then we wrote equation. We write equation to help us find the solution. The sequence, Hazim. Have noticed here has helped him sequence the hazim. لاحظوا ساعدوا أوي to find the pattern or the steps needed to solve the story problem. This is one of the mathematician's characteristics as they notice the repeated sequence or pattern and use it in solving similar problems. Now let's use the pattern our friend hazim has noticed to solve the story problems we have here. First here, let's read the two problems. We نطلع ال information from them. Problem number one. Here, Omar found a website created to study ant colonies. He saw that there were 1,025 ants. Yes, like you see here, 1,025 ants in colony A on Wednesday. On Friday, 101 ants leave the colony. How many ants are left in colony A? Why is the R of A? Why is the R of how many ants left in colony A? Okay, as we are seeing, here I have 1,025 ants in colony A on Wednesday. On Friday, 101 ants leave the colony. So, I will circle the two numbers I have. 1,025 and 101. Okay, then. We will underline the question. Where is the question? How many ants are left in colony A? Then we have extracted the information. And I get a lot of information. The total number of ants for colony A is what? Yes, 1,025. The second number, as you see here, 101. This is the number of the ants left the colony. Type il unknown part BTI is the number of ants left. Then I will Let's complete the bar model. Here the whole number is, yes, here's the bar model, like this. Here I will write the whole number here. What is the whole number? Yes, 1,025. Here I have two numbers, the known part, which is 101, and the unknown part, اللي هسميه عندي X. Okay, طيب, what operation do we need to use to solve this problem? The equation we will form will have the numbers on one side. Will unknown part on the other side. يعني عندي two sides. Side في ال unknown part بتاعي و side في ال numbers بتوعي. طيب هكتب ال equation بتاعتي ازاي. Yes, I will write x equals 1025 minus ال known part بتاعي اللي هو 101. Okay, طيب. Who can tell me 1,025 minus 101? Yes, we can create this mentally. Hamil, 1,000 minus 100 gives me 900. Then I will subtract 1 from 25, so the result will be 24, and this is my answer. So x equals 24. So the number of ants left is what? 924. 924, as you see here. Now for, pro for problem two, ask the students, I asked the students, the the students to identify class to solve it on their own way. While walking around to check their working, when I was looking Salma reading the problem, problem She circled the number, she circled the number. Where's the number? Yes, she circled this number, 1,555. Then, underline the question. Then she underlined the question. Fill question BTI. How many more ants? Type. Let's read first the question or problem number two. Here in this problem, Mariam found the same website, the same website, and so that there were 1,555 ants in colony B. 
how many more ants are in colony B than in colony A? طيب يبقى مريم عملت A, she circled the number, then she underlined the question. To calculate how many more ants there in colony B than in colony A. She realized that colony B would be the whole, like see here, يبقى colony B is the whole number which is 1,555. Yes, and colony A would be the known part. Then she said, I know the number of ants in colony B, but I don't know the number of ants in colony A. I asked her, سألتها, do you mean there is not enough information? يعني انتي في information ناقصة in this problem? I asked the whole class the same question. سألت الكلاس كله نفس السؤال to discuss the answer together. The student said, can not tell students A, that this information about the number of ants in colony A was not found in problem 2. We really miss, احنا مش لقين ال ants in colony A. But it was the answer to problem 1. فاكرين? احنا ال answer ده عملناه في problem 1. Yes, but it was the answer to problem 1 and they could use it. واحنا هنستخدمه في problem 2. I think this situation can guide your thinking. Now you know that the whole number is 1,555 as I wrote it here. Will known part what? Yes, the known part now, زي ما عملنا في problem one is 924, right? So which is the answer from problem one? اللي هي 924, the answer اللي احنا جبناه من problem one. We need to calculate the unknown part which is x. يبقى أنا عندي the whole number, اللي هو 1,555, عندي ال number النون بتاعي اللي هو 924 اللي كنت جايباه من problem 1 and I want to know the unknown number. So the equation will be what? Yes, the equation will be x equals, ال x اللي هو unknown equals the whole number 1555 minus the known number اللي هو 924. So the difference is yes, هنعمله minus هنلاقي ان ال answer equals 600. 31. As you have just seen, some story problems are two-story problems. Fi baas, two-story problems put together, ma baad, and we call it multi-step story problem because we need to answer more than one question. The multi-step story problem di bi baafiha akhtar min question wahed, just like what we have done now. The first question is about number of ants in colony A. The second question is about how many more ants are in colony B than colony A. تقدر تتابع كل دروسك على تطبيق مدرستنا بلس. مدرستنا المستقبل يبدأ الآن.